Brethren, pray the Lord. I'm glad that we are interacting once again. And I welcome you with a word of prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you give us every opportunity to interact with your word. And now enable us to read through your word and contemplate on what you mean by figure 40 in the Bible. We pray the Lord you bless our time together in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So brethren, last time we shared and interacted on the period called Lent. And Lent, we said, is a period of 40 days. And 40 days in the Bible is very, very significant. And I just want to take a moment again to read with you in the scripture, this time the version of Luke, Luke chapter 4, verses 1 up to where it ends about the temptations of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. And we are going to capture figure 40. And this little time we are going to interact and see what it means. Now the Bible in Luke chapter 4, the Bible says, Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing. And afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, A man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then the devil, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you and their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He shall give angels charge over you to keep you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. And verse 13, the Bible says, Now when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. Friends, this is the word of God, and we are on a journey. The journey is called Lent season, and I did promise about figure 14. Our Lord Jesus Christ was filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible talks about being filled before he was driven into the wilderness, in the wilderness where he was for 40 days. And 40 days is significant in scripture. And the Bible talks about it as a period of trial, as a period of temptation. And it's a period of hardships where you take a moment, it's a significant time, it's a journey moved, and at the end of the 40, there is usually triumph. And I repeat, there is usually triumph, and triumph means victory. Now, the first example that I would like to give from scripture is the 40 days of the flood, which we read about in Genesis chapter 6 up to Genesis chapter 9. And in Genesis chapter 7, verse 12, the Bible talks about rain. The flood is falling 40 days. This is the time when God decided to demolish, to destroy the creation because of what? Sin. And this 40, God decided to wipe it away and he sent the floods 40 days 
and there was everything that it was that everything was flooded everything that was was died everything that had life died and after the 40 days when you read these chapters of genesis chapter 6 verses 9 following up to chapter 9 there was something new sprouting something new coming into place and here figure 40 was god was demarcating the other generation now the the period of the flood and then after the 40 the we the rain stopped and there was another generation noah and his sons and his daughters-in-law started another generation so the 40 in here god used it and it is the time that we see it happening another 40 in the 40 days of moses the 40 days of moses in Exodus chapter 24 verses 18, in Exodus chapter 34 verse 28, in Deuteronomy chapter 9, 40 Moses was up the mountain. And at the mountain, Moses was in close interaction with God. Remember, the children of Israel had suffered in Egypt for a very long time, over 430 years. And these people were really in agony and God decided to pick Moses and Moses led them and for instructions for instructions God called up Moses to go up a mountain and on the mountain the Bible says that Moses was there for 40 days in a close interaction, in a close connection with God. And here, this is when God gave him the Ten Commandments. He wrote them on the tablets, and Moses came down bearing them as testimony. And this is the Ten Commandments and the other instructions which spelled the relationship between man and God, but also the relationship between man and man. The no wonder we are saying during this Lent season that when you go into fast, when you go into this season, make sure that your relationship with God is straightened. You get closer to God in prayer, in fasting. And actually, we mentioned that prayer, that fasting goes with prayer. And prayer goes with fasting. Now, if you go on a fast without prayer, then you are going for a hunger strike. But there must be prayer. I mean, fasting must be accompanied with prayer. Now, Moses was up on this mountain, as we read from Exodus, uh, the books that I mentioned, Exodus chapter 24, that he was there, and God was speaking with him face to face. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, this season is for our interaction with God, to go with him face to face, put your relationship right, with him. Moses was there and he did exactly that. And for us here, you and me, we need to put our relationship right with him. That's the vertical relationship. And I did mention that earlier and I've always mentioned it, vertical relationship with God. And then as you put right with God, you put right with another person. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ gives you the summary of the Ten Commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And then he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so this season is meant for, for exactly that, to relate well. Go first of all to God and go again to the neighbor, to the person, maybe that I might, I might have wronged you or someone that you have wronged, knowingly or unknowingly. So figure 40 was a, a moment of time that Moses had to spend with God. Now we also have another moment of 40, the 40 years of wandering. The Israelites from Egypt, to the promised land moved 40 years in the wilderness. And the testimony is in Joshua chapter five, verse six. Remember, the Bible talks about 40. It was a reasonable moment of time and these people moved 40 years in the wilderness. Joshua chapter five, verse six. This one, I just want to read it verbatim because I needed to testify to this. Chapter five, Verse 6, the Bible says that uh, for, for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people who were men of war who came out of Egypt were consumed because they did not obey the voice of the Lord to whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land which the Lord had shown to their fathers that he would give them. Now, the issue here is testimony that they wandered 
for 40 years in the wilderness. And now this wandering was actually taking them to another territory, taking them to another place, taking them to their inheritance. And how I pray that this 40 days that we started the Lent season will take us to our inheritance, that our relationship with God takes us to our inheritance. You and me will be taken to our inheritance. And so these people moved for 40 years. And eventually, although the Bible is saying many of them died along the way, and another generation, the one that entered into the promised land. And also remember, by the way, that out of those people that started the journey from Egypt to the promised land, only two people, the Bible mentions them, started from Egypt and ended in Canaan. And these two people were uh, Joshua and Caleb. And these were the men. But anyway, what we're saying is, may God help us to reach our destination. May God help us to reach our destiny. May God help us to reach our to get to where we want to reach in our spiritual life. And so this time, my brother, relate with God, relate with others, and put the 40, not to waste, but 40 fruitful, 40 victory, 40 triumph, and you reach. Have you set your goals? Have you set your, you know, your items for prayer? Are you pleading with God for anything? Then relate. Put it right with God, and God will deliver you there. Now, another fort is the fort of Elijah. For Elijah was on the mountain also, like Moses, for 40 days, First Kings chapter 19, verse 8, and he had run away from, you know, from Jezebel, the woman who, I mean, there was trouble, and Elijah moved and ran and climbed and was on the mountain, and there was interaction. There was God's presence there, and God spoke to him in very silly, of course, that he would see sometimes wind, sometimes somewhere, um, uh, you know, fire, somewhere earthquake. But the voice of God came in a still small voice. Now, friends, during this season, ensure that you are much closer to God, that the little small voice will come to you and you'll be able to listen and he tells you what he desires for you. And photo can go on and on and on and on and on. But the Bible is full of this figure. And let me just jump straight to Jesus' photo, which I've just read from Luke chapter 4 and Matthew chapter 4. And these days was, I mean, Jesus was in a windswept desert and where he was for 40 days and 40 nights. Now, Christ's 40 days was for renewal. Christ's 40 days was for energizement. Christ's 40 days was for preparation. Christ's 40 days was for connection. And he knew he was going to do a ministry of saving, a ministry of healing, a ministry of preaching, a ministry of... And so, my brother, my sister, what are we doing? Jesus has left us here to be his witnesses. Jesus has left us here to be his witnesses to the world. The reason why he sent the apostles in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, 20, that I send you, go ye into all the world and preach. And so as we get there, you who are pastors, you who are family elders, you who are family priests, I mean the fathers, I mean the mothers, I mean the youth, every one of us, that actually we needed to take this period of 40 very, very significantly, and I would go on and on and on and on and on. Now, Ezekiel was told to lie on his side for 40 days fasting for the people. And we also see Goliath actually tempted, tested, ridiculed the Israelites for 40 days. Now, friends, Goliath, 40 days tempting the Israelites, shouting at them, ridiculing them until they were over. This is when David came and the salvation dawned. Now, I am telling you, I am sharing with you, just like Goliath was ridiculing, just like Goliath was shocking the Israelites. There are very many things that shock you. There are many things that make you tremble. There are many things that make you worry. There are many things that make you disappointed. Now, the forte is another period that I'm talking about here that Goliath did that. But after the 40, the salvation came. And from where? God knows. Now for you, your salvation cometh 
your, your salvation dawns. And from where? God knows. Who knew that David would come as a salvation for the people of Israel at that time? Now, you and I need to depend solely on God and the forte, Jesus finishes the forte as we read in um, the, the, the look that we read and the Bible says that the angels, that there was, that when the devil had ended, the temptation he departed. Now, may we also remain firm that the devil will depart from us. And in Matthew, the same portion, chapter four, the Bible says that the angels came and ministered to him. And I pray for you, that the angels of the Lord will minister to you during this period. And we're going to continue on why we should remain watchful at another moment, at another time. Why must we watch? Why must we watch? Because we must be remain alert and that those who are wise shall shine like the stars in the firmament. And this one is in Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 to 3, that actually be wise and shine during this season. May God bless us that we shall shine and that we shall put ourselves right with God in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I wish you the best. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>